Hi guys, today I gonna talk about connectors and position.so. Please note down all and use in your writing for rising up your score in Yelps. Reasons, we use connectors to give reasons. A, we use, because, to introduce a reason clause. I read the book because my cousin recommended it. B, in writing we often use, as or since, with a reason clause at the beginning of a sentence. As the book sold so many couples, it was reprinted twice. C. We can also use, because of, with a noun to give reasons. Because of his books, Humorn Ahmed is very well known. Purpose. We use connectors to talk about purpose. A. We use to, in order, not to or so as not, to with an infinitive to say why we do something. I always switch off my computer screen in order to save electricity. B. We can also use so, so that and in order that with a clause to say why we do something. We often use a modal verb in these clauses. I'd like to have a faster internet connection so that I can upload photos to my blog. Sequence. We use connectors to sequence events in a narrative. A. We use before and after with specific times and events or with gerunds. Before meeting my friends, I had lunch. I arranged to meet my friends after lunch. B. We can use after, afterwards and before in expressions with soon and shortly. I got there at fout, and they arrived soon afterwards. We use first, of all, firstly, in the beginning, secondly, then, next, later, finally and in the end to sequence. First of all we bought our tickets, and then we went inside. We use at last and eventually to talk about events which took longer than we thought. There were lots of adverts and trailers, but the film started at last events. Result and conclusion. We use connectors to talk about results and to give conclusions. A. We use as a result, consequently, so and therefore to talk about results and consequences. B. We can also use thus to talk about results and consequences. It is a more formal connector we use in conclusion in short and to sum up to give conclusions and summaries. Contrast. We use connectors to contrast information. A. We use but to introduce a clause of contrast. We don't use but to start a sentence. It's lucky to see one magpie, but unlucky to see two. B. We use although, even though and whereas to introduce a clause I'd never open an umbrella indoors, even though I'm not superstitious. We use however and nevertheless to add a comment which contrasts with the previous one. Nevertheless is a formal word. Black cats are supposed to be lucky. However, I don't believe that. D. We use despite and in spite of with a gerund or a noun. Despite being an Aries, he's very shy and sensitive. Addition and example we use connectors to add information and to give examples. A. We use also before a main verb or after an auxiliary verb. I love wearing earrings. I also design and make them. B. We use to and as well at the end of a clause. I love wearing earrings. I design and make them too. We often use besides with a gerund to join two clauses. Besides wearing earrings. I design and make them. D. We use in addition, what's more, furthermore, and moreover, at the beginning of a sentence. Remember to use a comma after these connectors I love wearing earrings. In addition, I design and make them. E. We use for example, for instance, like and such as to give examples. We can use especially and in particular to highlight one specific example. I also make other jewelry like rings and bracelets. I love silver earrings, in particular ones from Mexico.